Hey everybody, welcome into Star Wars Republic, our show about all things Star Wars here on the Arena Productions. I'm your host, Xpad. I am the host and founder of the Arena Productions. And today we're going to be talking about Star Wars The Bad Batch, Season 2, Episode 5, Entombed. So this was kind of like The Bad Batch meets Indy Jones style of treasure hunting. <laughs> so we're going to get to this. Uh, but first, I just want to let all of you know that uh, this is going to be a spoiler filled uh, reactions video uh, to uh, The Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 5, entitled Entombed. So if you have not watched the episode yet, please go and watch it. Uh, you can watch it over on Disney Plus um, and then come back and enjoy this video because this video is going to have just a lot of spoilers uh to uh of course my reactions to the episode so with that said let's go ahead and begin okay so obviously the the episode starts you know with wrecker and omega in a junkyard and they're looking for parts and everything and then they get back to uh fee's compound here and uh it seems like omega had uh, found a compass and what's really interesting about this compass is uh that it uh, it showed the location to a different star system. And of course that star system was the Kaldar Trinary system. And uh, so Fee is telling them that this, this compass is like a rare find. And that of course, uh, you know, uh, they're gonna go to this system and uh, see what they can find there. So obviously they get to the system and as they get to the system and they land, it's like the whole planet seems to be un uninhabited and all. Uh, and then they finally get to, to what looks like a cave and they go inside of the cave. And that's when it gets really Indy Jones like, you know, or if you played the, the, the video game Uncharted, obviously, uh, then you'll you'll know what I'm talking about when it comes to they had all these puzzles and and and, you know, that's the thing. I mean, in the beginning of the episode also i mean like you know hunter was again just reluctant to go on this you know this kind of like treasure escapade you know because he knew it would probably there would probably be some kind of danger to pop up and 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 obviously you start seeing that the relationship of course between hunter and omega because he's kind of looking at omega omega really really wants to go because omega's really into the spirit of treasure hunting and all so he decides okay all right we'll go so anyway they get there they get into the cave and all in omega she's got the compass and all and and uh yeah it's like at first they're trying to figure out how to you know solve the the puzzles in these caves like moving these stones into place and all and it comes to the compass and she's the one that figures all of this stuff out i mean if it wasn't for omega being there i mean <laughs> The whole the whole group probably would have died, you know, because there were several times like Hunter, he like falls through the floor, you know, and, uh, you know, he's, of course, saved by Omega and Fee. But I mean, I, I just one thing I want to say about Fee is that, I mean, at the beginning of the episode as well, she's like talking to these two other aliens and, you know, just telling them all these stories and even like. Even Tech was saying, you know, she changes the story every single time she tells it. Or, you know, Hunter was even mentioning, you know, that and stuff. So it's like, it seems like she's really full of herself. But she, you know, I mean, she's a little bit knowledgeable. She was saying that the markings in the cave were pre-Republic and before the Jedi and all. Okay, so anyway, they're, they're getting farther into the cave. And obviously Tech, he does like a, a pre-analysis. Uh, you know, of the stone slabs and, it, you know, it, he's, you know, seems to find that, you know, Fee is pretty much on the mark in the sense that it dates uh, pre-Republic and all, you know, uh, before the Jedi and all. And uh, so, but then there's uh, this monster that pops out and uh, you think that Wrecker's going to get all, you know, just chewed the pieces and all, but they're able to fight it off and all. But then they get separated uh, and then towards the end obviously they they find each other and all uh and you know they're able to get into the the heart of the cave where this the the stone with all of the power in it is supposed to be uh it's like uh, the heart of the mountain basically that's what fee is is describing it as and and then the the point which which is really interesting 
when 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 she's trying to pull it out it's so i mean raiders of the lost ark you know you could tell i mean she's trying to she's trying to pull the, pull this heart of the mountain out of the out of the floor there and then you see omega's face omega's like kind of like the guy you know that uh, was the assistant to indy jones in uh raiders of the lost ark when they go into the you know the cave there and then the golden idol is there and you know you know like indy's about to take it out and then she of course in the episode here she fee takes the the heart of the mountain you know this uh you know this uh stone slab there takes it out of the floor and then all hell breaks loose and then like there's this big gigantic like uh kind of like lightning bolt into the sky and all and then it turns into this big like machine which kind of reminded me of if you like going referring to video games again if you played like uh horizon zero dawn or uh, uh horizon forbidden west you know the the tall necks the the big like uh walkers that have the really long necks and then they have kind of like the the big circular shaped uh, heads i mean that really the, this this you know this machine really reminded me of a tall neck so anyway now they have to find a way to to stop this thing because it's starting to shoot out like these big like energy beams it's like destroying everything in its path so anyway, they're trying to figure out a way to stop this thing. But then the same monster from earlier in the episode pops out again and they fight it. They fight it off and it's like, uh, it's like Wrecker gets it by the tail and then like tells Omega to shoot out the windows there. And she shoots out the windows uh, and he like takes it by the tail and throws it out. And then I guess that must have killed it or whatever. But then, so, the, the, you know, what they were able to do, it, Tech was able to get the stone slab back into this panel, which was what stopped this this large, I'm, an, I'm just going to call it a tall neck. You know, stop the tall neck, and then it just collapsed to the ground. And that was it. But unfortunately, before that, uh, fees uh, like a... Uh, a uh, droid uh, Mel was just incinerated by the beam, but it, it was interesting. She said that obviously that uh, you know that she keeps uh, like uh, the memory banks of Mel stored on her ship or, or back at her place or whatever. So so she'll be able to fix Mel up. Uh, she'll have another version of Mel again. So, uh, but uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, it it was a fun episode. But, you know, it was it just felt like another one of those side episodes because, you know, they're just going off on on side missions. And now we had a chance to see Fee a little bit more and to see kind of what she's like. And, you know, she's she's very uh, adventurous. And, and, and I think that's what Omega really likes about her. But but it, that can be very dangerous, too. Uh, and so now and at the end of the episode, she's saying, OK, we're going to travel to this other system you know, the, to another planet where obviously there's more treasure, treasure awaits and things like that, you know, so she's, you know, she's like a pirate. So we got to see more of her character in this episode. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it getting back to like, you know, fighting the empire. And then of course we did not get Crosshair again in this episode. So I, I'm sure he's probably going to be popping up uh, again pretty soon. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it was a fun episode, but another type of side episode, and it was very like Indy Jones, or if you're into video games, very Uncharted-like. So, uh, you know, hence the, of course, the title of the episode, Intuned. So, anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this reaction to uh, Star Wars The Bad Batch, Season 2, Episode 5. I've been your host, Expat. And uh, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe and notification bell for when we drop a, a new episode on the Arena Productions YouTube channel. And of course, this uh, episode will also be going to our Patreon. Uh, we also have a Patreon and uh, you can uh, watch the episode ad-free at uh, patreon.com slash the arena underscore podcast because we do many, many different podcasts. Uh, of course, this one, the Star Wars Republic show. So anyway, uh, we hope to catch you uh, next week uh, for uh, episode six of The Bad Batch and our uh, reactions and uh, review discussion on it. So anyway, take care, everyone, and uh, may the force be with you. Peace out.